guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today to show you what was in the March Her Fashion box. This is incredibly, incredibly late for two reasons. One, because it arrived incredibly late, maybe the 10th of April. And the second reason is because I got this, I filmed it, and it was pissing down with rain that day, and it was raining. Like, the rain falls, like, 30 centimeters above your head, like, where your camera's sitting. And so I went to edit it, and all you can hear is just rain, and you couldn't hear anything. I was trying to shout over it. It just didn't work. So I've had to refilm this, and it's the first chance I've had to refilm it. So this is the March Her Fashion box. So I have seen it. I do know what's in here. I have opened things. I have eaten things already. Um, so... <laughs> It's just going to be a bit of an all over the place thing. Um, first of all, it was very late. It arrived about, like I said, on about the 10th of April, which is fine. I'm completely okay with that. In March, the Her Fashion Box people, they moved offices. They moved, you know, they packed up everything and moved. So that would automatically add delays. And from what I can understand, there was also some issues with DHL and couriers and customs. So all the stuff that they had to put in the box got caught up at customs for, I'm thinking, about two weeks. And so there was issues, DHL customs, and they moved. So that is why it was so late. Whatever. Stuff happens. It's just what happens. I received it. I don't care. Whatever. It's also their birthday month. So happy birthday, her fashion box. You are one years old this month. Congratulations. Such a big milestone. So the box came in the little box set size again. So it came in this um, and in a package satchel. And the magazine was sort of outside. As well as the fashion ex accessory, which is this scarf. And I really really love scarves i'm not someone who gets that cold will probably in winter see me never wearing a jumper always wearing a singlet top but i will always wear a scarf and i just i just love scarves they dress them up and dress them down or whatever um, a lot of the fashion trends at the moment are the cosmic things and you i see that everywhere in shops and this is like a giant big cosmic scarf which i really really love i love the color you can see there's a planet here somewhere where is it yeah See, there's like a big planet thing there, a moon perhaps. I don't know. There's a planet. Really, really love this scarf. It is huge. The Her Fashion Box scarves, I love every single one of them. I'm loving that. I've already actually worn that one. Um, and I just realized the tag's still on it. So I have gone and worn it with the tag on. Fantastic. The next thing that came in the Her Fashion Box was a little bag of lollies because it was their birthday party. As you can see, I've already eaten them. They had the yellow, you know, the little white things with the dots the yellow red things on top like the raspberry things strawberry cream things they had them in there so i took them the kids ate a few other ones and this is what's left so that was in there happy birthday um i did actually go to the her fashion box uh birthday party they had it in a club in king's cross and it was a really really fun night and um great meeting for other bloggers and other people like that so there was that there was that i hope i haven't missed out anything um, for the fashion accessories we have got a ring which looks like this it is an adjustable ring um and that is what it looks like it's actually a really really nice it's not like your typical dark ru not a ruby that's red isn't it yeah what's the blue one um whatever that blue stone is i can't think of it at the moment but it's like a lot more of a lighter blue looks really nice with the scarf they go really really well together i really like it. it you know it looks slightly on the cheap side but i'm the mother of three kids under six i don't spend any more than ten dollars on my jewelry anyway because chances are it's going to get broken lost or the kids are going to wear it or you know whatever so i actually really really like costume jewelry like this because it's something that i can wear and if the kids want to play with it i'm happy to let them play with it for going out or whatever so i actually really like that it goes well with the scarf and the necklace that we got i absolutely love this necklace like this is going to be one of my favorite accessories from her fashion box i think that i've ever received it looks like this um it is like a chain bracelet with uh, the bottom part is painted matte this half of the chain um has actually got sort of um detail into it sort of like that hammered metal detailing in it like it's sort of yeah this half is plain but then the black has got um the matte paint on it and it's got it's just really gorgeous like i really love this this is so my this this is everything i love about jewelry it's edgy it's got the black in it because I, I i'm 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 not a girly girl like i'm a bit more of a grungy type of girl um like it's got the black in it, it's got the jewels in it. I really, really love this. Like, gorgeous. Really love it. Yay. Okay, you've got an Argania hair oil. This is a light one. I've actually received this one recently. I got this one, oh, not recently, in like a Bella box like a year or so ago. And I really like it. It is the light formula as well, so it definitely doesn't make your hair feel oily. Um, it is comparable to the Moroccan oil, if you ask me. I really, really like that one. And 
I've got a big hair to care tutorial coming up because I've changed a lot of things, I've added a few extra things, I've fallen in love with a few extra things and I think I've got my hair care routine down to a fine thing where I'm absolutely happy with my hair. I was at a point where I was going to chop it all off about two weeks ago because it just it wasn't working for me and since I've incorporated new products and changed a few things around I love it again. Um, it's It does need a haircut. I, you know what I've worked out? I haven't had a haircut in almost a year and a half. I have not had my haircut. So it's doing alright. You know, my ombre, which is done down here, used to start here. So that's how long it's been since I've had my haircut. But I've been really, really liking that. I do love hair oils. And we also got two um, makeup things. This one I thought was one of those Revlon thingy things, the lip balms or the lip butters. But it's actually something from Colours by TBN. I've never heard of this brand before. The colour is 874 I Don't Kiss and Tell. And it's this really nice kind of purpley, pinky, mauvey, magenta -y kind of fuchsia light. It is quite sheer, so you do need to build it up. But it is a really, really nice colour. I really, really like that. Um, I'll be interested to see how it wears. It doesn't smell funky in any way. Um, so yeah, really, really like that shade. It's very much up my alley. And the next thing I've got here is a Designer Brands Outrageous Volume Mascara. And I did open it up to see what the wand is like. It is just your typical, um, you know, mascara wand. There's nothing overly special about that. So I'll be interested to try it. I used Designer Brands stuff before. It is fairly affordable. Um, and by affordable, I mean cheap, but, you know, sometimes the cheap things are the best things. And also in there was this little um, pumice stone for your feet, which is actually really good um, to hang in your shower. Um, so my feet are really sore at the moment, so I'm actually going to have a lot of use into this. So very, very, very happy with that. Um, let me just check the box here that I haven't forgotten something, the book here that I haven't forgotten something. Mascara hair oil. Oh, there was also the... Fast Tan, this is the Latan Fast Tan Bronze Instant Tan in Latan Streak Free Natural Looking Tan, contains vitamin E. I don't like that, I don't rate it very much at all. I've got it previously in, I think, a Lust Habit box. I don't like it, it's not, yeah, doesn't do it for me. So that is it for the Her Fashion Box for March. It was their birthday month, as I said. Happy birthday, it's the first birthday issue. Really, these pink balloons were massive, like they were huge. Um, so yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I subscribe for $39.95 a month. I'll have the link down below where you can subscribe as well if you are all interested. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Easter and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.